morning. If you haven't guessed it already, then it's an early start for us this morning. Um, welcome to our YouTube blog of life on a beef and arable farm. Um, this morning we've got to take some cattle in, so I'm going to jump in and scan you first off while Andy and my dad do the feeding up. The view is very, 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 very dark. Scan it. Oh, Andy's turning the lights on. So I'm just waiting for the air tanks to fill up and then we'll be getting on our way to pick these cattle up. So Andy's just getting the lorry all up and up now. Morning, Andy. Morning. All right? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, good. Thanks, man. My dad's off taking them uh, this morning. Usually it's me. I don't know. He's decided he wants to take them. Fair enough. So I've got the TM320S fired up. Andy's on the straw blower and yeah, all lights on. Let's go, go, go. Hey, Andy. Did you see in the comments last night, somebody said if you cut the middle ones out and leave the outside ones on. Why, I've got a bed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, they've come out alright. Just think they've got to climb in to get them. You've still got to climb in either way. Yeah. They're not a bit hard. Alright, just thinking about your safety, Andy. I've got to get in anyway, haven't I? Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Okie dokie. It's alright. So it keeps him young climbing in and out. It's like a gym workout, isn't it? It's New Year's resolution, maybe, eh? Hey, I, I, yeah, that's a good point. You've got to think of one of them. I don't think I've ever had one, to be honest. For that, oh, I have had them, and uh, I've never stuck to them, so I can't remember them. That's probably more like it, actually. Yeah, yeah. Have you had a New Year's resolution, or have you got one for this next upcoming year? I'll think about it, maybe, and then get back to you as we get closer to New Year, or what mine might be that I'll probably won't follow up on. So, Andy's been here and strawed these guys up, and they're ready for the meal today. Got the nice straw coats on. Looking well, guys. Just seen Andy pull into the trad shed. That's not a good sign. Andy! Yeah? What's happened? <laughs> the sheer bolt king oh, struck again. It won't go over Christmas now, but it's gone today. No, no. I bet I think we'd add time to get some from expensive Ripon Farm services, I know. Yeah, I think it's more than just the sheer Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a driver, I know. <laughs> to be fair, um, it was those bales that were done with the John Deere baler. The straws really compacted into them. Um, so <laughs> it's just funny to keep um, keep bringing him up on it, as though it's his fault. This is how we got him back from a Scottish adventure. So Andy's putting out some wet bales now. And we got M back on the gates, we're back on full production. Hello oh, M. Hello. Did you have a good time on your holiday? Yes, it was very pleasant. Yeah? Where did you go? Scotland. Scotland? Just north of Edinburgh? Mm. Yeah. yeah. See anybody in this kill? No, I didn't actually. You did? Well, it was warm in the Yeah? It was warm in Was it? Ooh, like 15 degrees. Did you go up in K.A.? <laughs> anyway, we'll feed some cows, but good to have you back. The third the third leg. Oh, Em's just cutting the bands for me on this, and then we'll get it pulled into the spreader bale. We're ready for tomorrow. So we've just done down uh, done down the bottom, we've got them strawed up. It's coffee time! Cups are still available online. Birthday news have you got for us then, Em? TM's birthday. It's the TM behind us. Birthday. One year old. One year old today. Oh, I bet so. I'm Em didn't know about my wellies, so I'm guessing she's not up on um, the videos at the minute, are you? Hey? Eh? Yeah. Well, da, da, da. what's that say? Christian. <laughs> you got your own tractor now. Chris and Steve Shuttler. What's up, man? Uh, Chris and Steve Shuttler. You? Business. <laughs> right, Andy come for his drink in a minute. <laughs> Andy, we're talking about the, the, the Christmas, uh, the birthday of the JCB. Andy's just found this on a bale. 
and he's like, somebody will be, will be taking pictures of somebody somewhere. I'm like, no, Andy, it's mine. <laughs> so I must have put that on top of a bale um, in the summer. Oh, I lost it out of my pocket. It's like, so you can take, it's for me like a selfie. It's for what? Tripod. Tripod, yeah, a selfie stick thing. And do you know what? You know, you, you know, you ridicule China and their quality, but this has been outside for a full year. And it's still working. Brilliant. Can get back to using this. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I used to put it on my tripod, didn't I? Then I could press button. I'm miles away and start it. I've survived without it though for this long. I think I've done all right. Oh, it works. It works. You, you'll not be able to tell that it works, but um, we can tell that it works. Look, Andy, watch, watch that square turn to a circle. Like M's chatting wellies now. Flexible, isn't it? That's and is really flexible wellies. Mm. Got my British rubber wellies on. Nice <laughs> and uh, M said they've got dinosaur teeth on my wellies because of the tread on them sticking out. Right. Yeah, happy with them so far. Mm. Andy were just laughing because we've both got pairs of wellies that are uh, shot. Yeah. Mine's, mine I've got a good right foot and yours is a good left foot. Yeah. Alright. So we wondered if we ought to put them on eBay for charity and try and sell Joe and Andy's wellies for charity. A left and a right foot. Somebody's got a 10 and 11 foot. You, yeah, yeah. Somebody's got a 10 and 11 foot and don't mind wearing odd wellies. Because uh, they are odd wellies. But what do you reckon? Should we put them up? Um, M's just laughing. I don't know what you're laughing. <laughs> I don't think anybody else does them. So again, we're just putting um, some wet bales out here and we're going to let the cows smash them about. We have them be Scandi doing more shear bolts. Them's there, look. So I'm just trying to tidy up around the clamp of the fodder beat, the fodder beat pulp that we've got here. Just to get it a bit tidier before Christmas, we'll use a lot of bales of straw tomorrow, um, Christmas Eve, just to make it a bit easier for for Andy on Christmas Day because he's coming in Christmas Day. Bless him. So we're just looking round now, getting some more cows out, keeping us busy. So we've got the mill running, so that we've got plenty of barley for over Christmas and the New Year. Got to keep that going. I've just got a laptop, so we've got a lot of cattle to get out and ready for over the Christmas and New Year period. So Andy and um, one at either side clipping these guys making sure they're clean so we don't have to do it on Christmas wow somebody's getting a bit irate in there so in a year TM's done 1307 hours of feeding cows mucking cows out um, muck spreading what else? Spread a bale in, little bits and bobs like that. So I'm just filling the mill up now. It's getting quite full though, to be honest. So I don't want it to start spilling over the sides. So I'm just filling it nice and steady. And as soon as I see it piling up, he says, can't see it piling up yet, can we? Okay, so it's not quite as full as I expected. I'm not, I'm not going to be supporting another bucket in now. So, we're just getting these guys out and we'll get them clipped. The ones that are mucky. And he's just filling the mill up. We're over there. We can keep it running so we can fill this shed full of barley. So, I'm back out after dinner and raining it's wet here in South Yorkshire miserable weather but um, we've got a few more cattle to clip a bit more milling to do mixers all that let's keep going M's just in here cleaning up Andy's straw blowing mess comes over the side from uh, from the cattle pen next door here we go the mill's running real steady at the minute Oh, we need to open 
Yeah, so we have to just wait for it all to run out. We could shut it off. Just wait for it all to run out, turn it off, clean it out, and then get it back on again. So PTO off, tractor off, key in my hand, nobody can start it. Not that anyone's gonna jump in and start it anyway, but safety first, get it in your hand and then nobody can start it. Um, and then I can put my hand in there and retrieve the crap out of there. So that was what was in there, a bit of like moist barley or wheat. It's barley actually. And even a stick. Just bunging it up and stopping all the flow coming through. So we'll probably run about twice as fast now when we get it back up and running. So I've got it turned back on now. Time to jump in the TM, fill it up with barley. So it's back to blasting out about nine, ten ton an hour, something like that. Which is good. Part time farmers here, look. My brother. Fetch me a Christmas card. Nice, money for all that merchandise and stuff. Ooh, nice. Another part time Maria now. We've had one, we've got a second one. We just need Mickey here. No, not yet. <laughs> Andy and Emma clean it, crush out, getting all the hair. You got, we only cleaned it out yesterday, didn't we, Andy? Yeah. Jeez. Enjoying it, Em? <laughs> so we just had Mark Acaster here who did our foraging if people remember that. Brought us some beers, nice. Em's just on um, doing a mix now, popping pipes on. There we are. <laughs> oh he's got his hat on! Business! <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so I've just swapped with him. I've um, let her have the nine meter. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go and cut some sugar beet stuff out for her for this mix, and then uh, gonna get started with the bean. Andy's just been blowing a bit of extra straw around today with it being so wet. So I've just been feeding these guys. They're looking all pretty happy, liking that meal. It's getting fairly dark, but uh, we're still feeding out. Andy's blowing some straw in still, I think, and doing a mix. Or well, one of them two, anyway, can't be doing them both at the same time. Doing one of them. Me and Emma will just get these fed. If we can get in here, it's a little bit tight. So Andy's coming down. He's getting the bales from the new stack. Is. Oh, mucky windows, mucky windows. No good. Yeah, the, the, the new stack down there. Well, it's not new. We put it up there in summer, but it's we're using the bales from it now. So it feels like it's new. Do you know what I mean? I think you do. I think so. Hopefully. So Andy's just blowing straw out with the teagle at the minute, but it's way too dark, which I will just show you, to be able to back up to these bales. Um, he'll not be able to see anything. So we've got the nine meter with some straw on the front and we'll just drop it in and then um, we can just get that bit extra straw before it gets to Christmas. What we'll do tomorrow as well is we'll give him loads of straw tomorrow and then on Christmas day Andy will straw him up again but he'll not have to do quite as much as he would have to do. Usually if he wants anyway. You know. So right, I'll get this into uh, Andy so we can get finished on time. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Job done. So I've just got the JCB in. Andy's coming in now with his 130. Oh, he's giving us a flash look. Fantastical. Well, people aren't going to be happy today, Andy. 
They're all parked in the wrong way. Apart from the two tractors that haven't moved for a bit. That one's right. You right? That one's all right. So if it doesn't start, we can start. Yeah, but if we were parked the other way, we'd be able to start as well, wouldn't we? <laughs> People be in the comments. The wander has returned. You what? So if all of those four don't start, how do we get it out? <laughs> it's all right. We've got his um, JCB battery that went. You know, had absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah, we'll just use that. You missed out on all this, Em. Hey, eh? the cold weather starting. Oh no, actually, yeah, that's right. I worked through the cold weather. Yeah, you worked through the cold weather, and then when it got warm, you were off. Yeah, and that's still warm. No, it's still warm, isn't it? And I don't think it's going to snow for Christmas, is it, Em? Uh, no. Too warm. That's what I'd say. Right, you what? Anything could happen. That is right. Em. That is right. Right. If uh, people have liked today's video, remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you've not already. Um, Comment and Andy loves reading the comments, especially when they're from people from Devon. It just reminds you. Does it remind you of home? It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It just brings it all back to him. Yeah, which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you tomorrow when um, we will be getting our last few bits done for Christmas. Oh, well, I'm saying that because I'm not going to be a Christmas day, but Andy is. But then he's he's not. After that, that's it. And he's here Christmas Day, and that's it. He's gone. He's finished. He's finished. He says the seven five thirty is going. He's not happy. He's leaving. So. Oh yeah! Remember to take your pen and to take your your. Um, well, I don't know. Sort of. I don't like it. I don't need it. Good fellow. It does right. I don't it's like just, it. Over. It's very comfortable. Yeah, it looks good. Do you, do you like how your tractor's branded to you? Mm. This is A class tractor. I don't think it's on display. Yeah, on your little shelf or something. Business? Mm. Right, thanks, guys. Bye. Second ending. Is that second ending? Do we do a third one? I haven't I seen know. the other ending. And anyway, <laughs> you, are you auctioning off your wife? Yeah, remember to comment uh, as to whether we should auction off. Hey, do you know what we could do? Hey, we, we, could, we could add value to these, Andy. Yeah. You could sign them. M could sign them. No, let's get Andy in his scrubbing. Big Mick could sign them. Do you, reckon, do you reckon they'd sell more with the muck on or without? I think with the mat, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Is it like when, you know... People sell their underwear or whatever, you just leave the muck on. <laughs> what have you been buying, Joe? <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Leave the muck on? Oh. Who's got the fetish? Who's got the, who's got the welly fetish, eh? What, what, what price would it go to? Anyway, on that note, bye.